hello everybody welcome back to cooking with sma and my name is sma i'm back with yet another video and it's another sweet treat um we're making muffins today chocolate chip muffins to be exact and this is a nice and quick recipe it won't take you forever in the kitchen to finish it so yeah a quick run through the ingredients and then we'll get started um just have some flour i have chocolate chips in here I have sugar I'm using brown sugar you can use white sugar as well I have vegetable oil I have one egg and baking powder and lastly we have milk now um, the exact measurements will be listed in the description box check that out if you want to try this recipe out so yeah without wasting any more time let's just get started so i'm just going to combine the dry ingredients i'm going to start with the baking powder put it in there next the sugar okay um another uh, thing that i forgot to mention is that i tossed the chocolate chips in a bit of flour just to avoid them from sinking to the bottom of the pan when you're baking so they'll just float nicely in the batter and they'll mix in nicely so i'm just going to put those in there and mix this up a bit great now i'm just going to add I mean combine the wet ingredients and I'm going to pour in the vegetable oil into the milk and then I just like to crack my eggs separately just to make sure that the egg is fresh don't want to spoil the batter with the rotten egg just going to whisk it up a bit and pour it in there right so now i'm just going to make a bit of a whirl in the middle and pour in the weight and mix it up you want to be gentle when you're mixing this better if you mix it too vigorously or you over mix it it's going to be very dense so your muffins are going to be hard so you want to Kind of take your time and fold in gently. Right, so the all the wet ingredients are well combined and we've mixed through all the flour and the batter should be looking like this. Uh, the muffin batter is a little lumpy, so don't be surprised. But if you find out um, that your your batter is a little hard or it's a little tough, you can add just a bit more milk just to loosen it up a bit um, because your flowers absorb differently. So this is ready. Okay, so I have here my pan. Um, it's a muffin cake tin that holds 12 muffins, small muffins. Um, you can use the big one that holds six that would work as well and this beta as well yields about 12 muffins so yeah i'm going to now spoon the the beta into the cake tins and guys if you have muffin liners at this point use those because your girl here forgot to buy them so i'm just going to spray my cake tin with my non-stick spray just to avoid the muffins from from sticking to prevent the muffins from sticking so i'm just going to spray my cake tin generously with the non-stick spray okay so that's done i'm using this um cup here just to kind of like get the same measurement and we have even 
muffins because that will help with the baking they'll bake evenly so just going to scoop and I have a spatula just kind of going to layer it out right so that is done i've already preheated my oven to 205 degrees and i'm going to bake this for about 20 to 25 minutes or until um your toothpick comes out clean and then nice and almost golden brown so yeah let's get to baking and we'll be back after about 25 minutes here we go so these are done baking and I've let them cool in the pan not completely but you know I can touch it so it's no longer that hot so I'm just going to remove them from the pan let me just quickly grab this so I can put it there just going to gently twist it there you go seem to come out pretty easy it's important guys to let them cool in the pan so that they can come out easily there you go okay so there you go this is the end result um try it out i promise you guys you will enjoy it your tea time will be that extra special so give it a try and let me know what you think and until the next time i'm out <laughs>